All right, hello everybody. My name is Troy Harrison Christ, and on today's 4K Kingdom Come Deliverance video, I'm going to be giving you guys some more tips on how to survive in medieval Bohemia. I got a bunch of them, so let's get right into it. Okay, everybody, these first set of tips are for the people who feel like they're not very good at combat at the beginning of the game. There is a certain point that I've found that is very good to just stop uh, progressing on the main quest and then go back to Retai and then do all the little side quests and level up all the skills and perks that you want. The perfect place to stop the main quest is after you investigate the raid on Neuhof. You will find the bandits, find Ginger's pick, and then you are tasked with locating Ginger. As soon as you get this quest, stop. Do not progress anymore on the main story. Go side questing, go get all the skills you want, and go level up any single sword perk, any fighting perk, any defense perk that you need to be better at what you want to do. Okay, this next tip is feel free not to fight everybody you see when you first start the game. The biggest complaint I hear about this game is, oh my god, these enemies are unkillable. Well, duh, you're literally running away from scallops and there's cumins in full mail running after you. Don't try and fight those guys. It's not worth it. You haven't leveled anything up. Duh, they're beating you. Go level up before you just start attacking the most badass person you see. Uh, I, I see this a lot. Oh, these enemies are unkillable. No, you're just pretty killable right now. If you are fighting somebody who has a longer weapon than you, like a greatsword or a halberd, try and dodge their first attack. Then get in close with stabs, clinches, or kicks to quickly get him off balance or do a lot of very quick damage. Also, when you're fighting and you see that green shield, hold down your block button and move your weapon or shield to the direction your enemy is attacking from. This will take a little bit of time to master, but once you get the hang of it, you'll be bouncing back and forth between enemies blocking everything and ruining everybody's day. Early on in the game, take a moment to find some lower level enemies that are not in full chainmail that you think you could practice blocking correctly on. There tends to be a lot of bandits at nighttime near the miller by the river. They are usually in bad armor and often have even worse combat rules. Target the bandits and road raiders as soon as you find them and this should lead to some easy sword fighting and blocking practice. Make sure you're trying to keep anybody you're attacking in front of you. The AI in this game will constantly try and flank you and you have no chance of blocking somebody if they attack at your back. If you ever feel like you're getting cornered, try and sprint away for a moment to get a better position. There are a couple of different agility perks that you can use for this tactic. I think sprinter will probably be the best bet because you can run faster but your stamina goes down quicker but if you actually really need to get away from the guards for a long time and actually just disappear from them, I think the featherweight perk might be a little bit better because it'll let you run for a lot longer without losing stamina. So if those guards are sprinting for a while after you, they're going to get tired eventually and not going to be able to chase you forever. So I like the featherweight perk for that. If you're trying to get like a quick advantage and different positions on your enemies, the sprinter perk might be the right way to go. Also in the agility section, make sure you guys are using the dodger perk. You learn it very early in the game, but make sure you don't forget it. Dodge the strikes whenever you can. Yes, it's great to block them, but if you can just make the enemy miss, you might have a better chance of doing an attack that they are not going to block. Another tip is to really try at the beginning of the game to level your defense perk, or blocking sword attacks will be a nightmare. If you are having a tough time with blocking, look into the strength perk tree as well. Pick up stronghold as soon as you can. This makes blocking cost 30% less stamina and is very helpful early on. Also, the other perk, Tight Grip, is one of the best perks in the game, which is basically another stamina buff, and this will slow down stamina loss during all combat. Super good. Pick it up very early. All right, guys, you have to keep in mind that Kingdom Come Deliverance has a ton of armor and weapon combinations, and you as the player must decide how you're going to apply your damage per second between multiple attackers. Deciding who to focus attack in Kingdom Come can be very confusing. If you think you're going to have trouble with the most armored enemy, I like to sometimes sneak up behind him and do early bow and sword damage from a stealthy angle. Then after that, focus fire anyone who has bad armor and target their least protected area for maximum effect. However, if you don't think you're going to have a hard time with the guy in the most armor, go ahead and take out the light armored people first and you can negate their damage per second early on. Bow headshots work tremendously. 
When attacking multiple enemies, rapid attacks that switch between targets tend to work best for me. On PC, it's very easy to switch between enemies and keep the combat in front of me. Bounce back and forth between people and attack the least armored part and the least defended part. You should be fine. Next tip. If everyone is blocking your sword attacks, one, you might be fighting an enemy with a much higher sword perk, so maybe don't fight him. But also, you can look into the combo attacks in the Swordsmanship perk path. The one I like is the Wraith Slash, which can be done with the left slash, bottom right slash, and then the middle stab to make a deadly combo with the longsword. Also, try using the Feint technique. This is where you hold your sword in one direction and then quickly attack from a different side. This will confuse the enemy which direction you are attacking and you have a better chance of landing that strike. Try holding your sword to the bottom left. Then, when they move their defense down, quickly attack the top zone. This can be a very simple way to start an attack with an easy hit. This next tip is when you're fighting multiple enemies, continuously back up and use their momentum against them. This next tip is you don't have to use stealth to get a quiet takedown. Use it to get a good position and the advantage while starting a fight. If an enemy is eating a bowl of food by the fire, use stealth to get behind him and use the stab attack repeatedly while his back is turned to Henry. This can get you the early advantage in a fight and is a good idea to approach most encounters with at least a quick thought of being sneaky. In my last combat video, which was mostly based on my experience with the beta, I said that you guys should kite enemies with the bow. Shoot them, run away, shoot them, run away. This actually doesn't really work too well in the full game as enemies will chase after you much quicker. Instead, I would use the bow at the start of an engagement and maybe try and target the person with the worst head armor to end their chance of doing DPS very early. If you're not too good at archery, try finding the skin quest outside of Tamburg or the hare hunt mission in Rute and head out into the forest to level hunting, archery, agility, and stealth. If you're having trouble with a certain combat quest, try heading in at night so you can gain a chance to not be detected while you're completing your task, shady or not. A good way to level combat skills is with the Milan fighting quest. I know I've talked about this before, but it is very important to do early on. You will gain most of the perks that you need for combat from fist fighting, as well as also leveling up your unarmed perk, which comes in handy throughout many different quest lines. All right, this next tip is uh, make sure you guys go back and train with Captain Bernard after the first time you meet him. He will teach you a couple of things during one of the quest lines, but guys, you can keep going back to him, uh, level up your swords, level up your defense. He's a great trainer and you can continuously do this as long as you have the level requirements. All right, this next tip is for PC players only. If you guys have a mouse with like more than three buttons on it, I recommend really key binding the block button to mouse four or mouse five or who knows, mouse 11, depending on what kind of peripherals you have. Having block on the mouse makes it so much easier to hold down block at the right time and also control the directional defense with the same hand. This works great for me. However, other players may just want to use the standard controls. I really like this because you don't have to ever take your hands off WSDA. You can always be in the right position and not have to worry about hitting Q. You can just block with your mouse four button. I love this a lot. Get a mouse that has more than three buttons it makes the game a lot easier. If you have at least five buttons on your mouse, I also like to put the special attack on uh, my mouse five key because it just makes it a lot easier to do all of your combat really on one hand and your other hand can just be movement with the WSDA keys. Another tip for PC players is change the key binding for pickpocketing from hold down E to literally anything else. In Kingdom Come Deliverance, E is the use key. So you can hit E to talk to somebody or you could accidentally hold it down and pickpocket them right in front of their face. Avoid the resaving, change the pickpocket key. I've had to resave a couple of times because I accidentally pickpocketed the merchant I was standing right in front of. All right, thank you all for watching. Hopefully you learned a thing or two. My name is Troy Harrison Christ. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'm out of here.